Hi friends. Welcome back to Success Stimulator. In this video, we are trying an attempt to give you the holistic picture of Kaizen culture, and it can be a tutorial for the beginners, who are interested to learn about Kaizen. Kaizen is one of the key factor for, Japan's fast growth. Kaizen is a Japanese management strategy, that means, change for the better or continuous improvement. Japanese belief that, all aspects of life should be constantly improved. Meaning, whatever the work we do today requires an improvement tomorrow. Japanese are not restricting the Kaizen in workplace, but they are spreading the Kaizen methodology, in all aspects of life. Alright, let us quickly look at the topics for today's discussion. We'll start with, Introduction to Kaizen. Followed by, History of Kaizen. We will not spend more time on introduction and history but more focus toward understanding the Kaizen culture. Next discussion topic would be, what is Kaizen? And, benefit of Kaizen with general examples. Then, understand the, aim of Kaizen. Then, we'll discuss about Kaizen implementation. Next is, how to choose Kaizen team members. Other important topic would be, tools can be used in Kaizen. Finally, few tips for successful Kaizen. So, let's start. With introduction to Kaizen. As you all aware Kaizen is a Japan word. Kai means continuous or change, and Zen means improvement for better. History of Kaizen. Kaizen was first practiced, in Japanese businesses after World War II. Influenced in part by American business, and quality management teachers, and most notably as part of the Toyota way. In 1986, Masaaki Amai, introduced to the Western world, the Japanese term Kaizen and made it famous through his book, Kaizen. The Kaizen philosophy was first introduced by Toyota back in the 1980s, and has since been adopted by thousands of companies around the globe. This is all about, history of Kaizen. Let us understand, what is Kaizen? Look at this picture. And it tells us the importance of small steps. Small steps are easy to achieve and move faster, whereas long steps are tough to move. Either we can say so complicated. The same logic applies to Kaizen as well. Kaizen approach is contributing small small ideas, helps to bring big change or bring a big impact in the process over a period of time. These small ideas are predominantly expected from the one who is working in the field. However, all the employees across all the levels can share their ideas for continuous improvement. Let's start. At first, while we implement any Kaizen, we should know the possible outcome, it will help us to implement them without struggle. Here is the potential outcome of any Kaizen. Eliminate. Change. Simplify. And. Improve. First one is. Eliminate, eliminating unwanted process flow. Eliminate excess resources. Eliminate waiting time and so on. For example, in a process, there are 10 steps to be followed, of which two steps are not required which is getting covered in one of the remaining processes by eliminating these two steps can able to save some amount of time which helps to move the production faster. You can also try this out in your process, look at your process steps very closely. It helps to save time. Change, change the resources based on demand. Change the software outlook or change the software itself, which is more efficient, and cost effective. Change the location and so on. For example, there is software that is not at all user friendly. Like, many apps request us to give a rating. When we click the rating button, it will take us through different apps like the Play Store or Google. Instead, you can design so that the same app takes the rating and links it to other relevant apps. This is design changes, it becomes user-friendly and enables the customer to give a rating. The next outcome is, simplify, process simplification would be the next possible outcome of Kaizen. Identify, shortcuts available in the software, simplify the tracking process, and simplify the pictorial representation, which would be self-explanatory. Explore all the options available in the software you're working in. There could be multiple shortcuts of which, no one in the team is aware. It helps to speed up the process. Improve, overall performance improvement would be another possible outcome of Kaizen. Improve the overall quality output. Improve the colleague's performance. Improve the process time and so on. These are the four possible outcomes of the Kaizen. I will repeat, eliminate, change, simplify, and improve. In addition, do remember these two points as well. 1. Kaizen's approach is contributing small small ideas, helps to bring big change, or bringing a big impact in the process over a period of time. 
2. Continuous improvement is expected without any additional cost. We always have to remember these two points, and you have to highlight them to the entire stakeholder without fail. Kaizen aim is to eliminate waste in the system. Common wastes are 1. Overproduction. At times organizations produce more when the demand was less. This kind of waste mostly happens in the manufacturing industry. Another waste is waiting time. For example, on many occasions, some of us experienced slowness in the system, which made us wait for some time. When this happens for 100 colleagues, then it is a big waste. Have to find a way to eliminate this slowness in any ways. Next waste is delay, by doing non-value added steps. Or unwanted process flow. For example, in a process, there are 10 steps to be followed, of which 2 steps are not required which getting covered in one of the remaining processes. By eliminating these 2 steps can able to save some amount of time which helps to move the production faster. You can also try this out in your process, look at your process steps very closely. Delay in assigning work or allocating work to our colleagues is another opportunity for improvement everywhere. Next waste is overprocessing, or excess investment. For example, in a service industry, the organization invested in high configuration systems which may not be required, and considered to be high cost investments. In some cases, the team using a dual monitor which is not at all required is another waste. The same logic applies to the manufacturing industry as well. Next waste is defects. Correcting the defects consumes more time and effort, so everyone should produce right at the first time. Do you know one thing? Statistics say correcting the defects takes double the time of production. Since you all are experts, find a way to do it right the first time and spread the logic across. All right, let us discuss Kaizen implementation method. Though multiple methods are available for implementation, PDCA or PDSA is the most popular method to implement Kaizen. PDCA cycle, also known as PDSA cycle or Deming cycle, is a problem-solving method used for the continuous learning and improvement of a process or product. There are four basic steps in PDCA or PDSA cycle. Plan, identify a problem and possible solutions. Do, execute the plan and test the solutions. Check or study, evaluate the results and lessons learned. Act, improve the plan or process for better solutions. Planning phase. Identify a problem or opportunity for improvement. Analyze the process and develop an optimal solution. Do, implement the solution. The solution will be tested in due phase. Collecting real-time data and feedback. Check phase, study the results and adjust. How well the solution worked, how much the goal has been achieved, and whether the methods were proven feasible. Note that there might be, forth and back between do and check. Act, standardize the solution. Integration of all key learnings by the entire process, standardizing successful parts, and avoiding error recurrence. In a nutshell, the ACT phase summarizes the current cycle and prepares for the next. Last but not least. Always identify the right team for a successful outcome. Alright, I hope you have got some fair idea about, Kaizen implementation. We will discuss about, Kaizen team members, and their roles and responsibilities. Hope you all got a chance to watch my other Kaizen videos, please watch them again it will help you to get a better idea about Kaizen, and its implementation. Alright. Let's start our discussion, about Kaizen team members. It is obviously important, to think carefully about Kaizen team members. Every Kaizen is different, so the roles needed may vary, but as a best practice, there are four roles, that you should be sure to consider. And you are free to add more than four, based on requirements. The first and primary team member would be Ideator, one who ideates, one who holds or generates an idea. You all know that, Kaizen ideas are predominantly expected from the one who is working in the field. However, all the employees across all levels can share their ideas for continuous improvement. Next team member, would be Champion, or, first level approver, the champion would be the immediate supervisor, who is responsible for implementing the idea, generated by their team members by coordinating with all the stakeholders. Core responsibility, is to guiding the other participants through the event helps to drive consensus and keeps the team on track. Sets the objectives for the event and identifies progress milestones. They ensure that the team includes the right participants. Also, creates and distributes the event schedule. Next role is the process owner or second level approver or sponsor. 
the person who oversees the process daily, provides insight into the challenges to be addressed, and helps vet possible solutions. The process owner is an executive level resource for the team, who will provide support and guidance. He or she helped to remove any roadblocks that arise. The team sponsor is also responsible for making sure that the functions of each team member are covered during the Kaizen event, so that participants can focus 100% of their energy on the improvement project. When the event is complete, the team sponsor ensures that success is broadcast to the organization and that participants are recognized for their efforts. The last role and very crucial role. The process operators, these team members' work are crucial to the success of the Kaizen event. The process operator is a person or a team who helps to work on your recommendation based on your expectation. They can be a software technician or a client or an IT guy. They will help to map the current process, identify opportunities for improvement, and implement the changes to be tested. These are the four important Kaizen team members. As I said, you are free to add more team members based on the requirements. Hope you got some fair idea about Kaizen team members and their roles and responsibilities. Let's see the list of tools used in Kaizen. Kaizen tools are primarily used to eliminate wastes or downtime and optimize business processes for global competitiveness. All the tools available for Six Sigma can be used for Kaizen as well like 7 QC tools 5S Value Steam Mapping Pareto Analysis Gemba and Jishuken and so on. We'll explain you each tools in separate videos. Alright, finally let's see. Few tips for successful Kaizen. Be open to the ideas and changes. Make yourself available for the discussion. Speak out if you disagree. See waste as an opportunity. No blame environment. Treat other as you want to be treated. Empower the team members. Understand the data and principles. Stay positive. Hope you all have got some fair idea about Kaizen. We shall discuss some of the Kaizen examples in our upcoming videos. We'll see you again in our next learning video. Please share your comments and suggestion for improvement. Also, share it with your friends, family members and knowledge seekers. At last, thanks for watching.